Today in our 2018 Cadillac XT5, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13285. So here's where our hitch is going to look like once we have it installed. It's going to sit behind the bumper, and the nice thing about it is, is that whenever we're not towing, we can actually take the cover and replace it so it's going to be completely concealed behind there. We're just going to have to put two screws back in place. And then whenever we do want to tow, we can remove the cover and our receiver will be right there. It is a class three hitch, which means it's going to give us that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And it's going to have a lot of different varieties of accessories that we can put in there. Now the way we're going to mount all of our accessories, the hitch pin hole here on the side, and it is going to accept a standard five ace pin and clip. Now these aren't included in the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com. Now because it sits so far back, you want to keep in mind any kind of clearance issues you may have with folding accessories because the shank is going to have to come out and make sure we clear the rear bumper here. Now if you do have a folding accessory in your hitch like a bike rack or a cargo carrier, keep in mind that it may set off the backup sensors, but only when we're in reverse. When we're driving forward and the car's in drive, we won't have any alarm going off. The safety chain connection points are going to be a plate style welded at the bottom of the receiver tube. And we're going to have plenty of room to get most size hooks on or off. And since they sit behind the pinhole, we're not going to have to worry about any kind of interference. As far as the weight capacity goes, our hitch is going to have a 750 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward force at the receiver tube, along with a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Now it is rated for use with weight distribution systems, which is going to be a separate component mounted on your trailer. Now it's going to keep the tongue weight the same, but it's going to bump the gross trailer weight up to 6,000 pounds. Now with all those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Cadillac's owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements and that's going to help you when deciding for accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, a bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's going to be right about 5 and 3 quarter inches. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have adequate clearance and they're not going to come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 18 and a half inches. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking for a ball mount to match up to the appropriate rise or drop for your trailer. So now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the back of our Cadillac and we're going to have this panel at the very bottom in the center of our fascia. Now we're going to have two bolts, one on each end, and we're going to pull those out. We're going to use a seven millimeter socket. And once we pull those out, we'll lift away slightly and we can pull the panel down and we'll set it aside for right now. Now on both sides of the frame, we're going to have a total of four holes. We'll have three somewhat smaller ones and then one large one. The large one is going to be our access hole in order to get all of our hardware in place. We're going to want to take the fish wire from our kit. We're going to take the coiled end, feed it in to the furthest hole towards the front of the vehicle, and then we're going to start pushing it back so we can reach it at the access hole. Now sometimes it'll help when you feed it in, put a slight bend in the pull wire. That way once we start pushing it in through the frame, it'll naturally want to bend down and come back through the hole. You may have to reach inside, help guide it down. So once we get the coiled end out of the frame, you want to make sure that the tail is still sticking out the other end as well. We'll put a bend in that end, that way it won't go falling into the frame. We're going to take a square hold spacer block slide it over the coil down to the wire. And then we're going to take one of our carriage bolts and thread it onto the end. And one piece at a time, we'll push the block into the frame. Then we'll push our bolt in and we'll pull on the tail until the bolt comes out the bottom. Now we're going to repeat that for the other two spots and the three on the other side of the frame. Now 
Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch into position. And we'll take each one of our pull wires and we'll pass it through our hitch, making sure that it's going in the correct hole. And once we have all the wires going through, we're gonna lift it up over the exhaust. Get our bolts to come down. We're gonna remove one of the pull wires and we'll secure it down. We'll grab one of our flange nuts and right now we just want to make sure we get at least one holding the hitch on each side. That way it'll support itself and we can get the rest of the hardware in. So with all the hardware in place we'll come back with an 11 16th socket and snug it all up. Now we'll come back with a torque wrench and we're going to torque all of our hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. That'll finish up your look at the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13285 on our 2018 Cadillac XT5.